Now we want to work on building out this calendar, right? We've got the caption at the top that identifies the month and the year. Then we have the table, a row that has the list of the days of the week. And now we want to actually produce the entire month. Well, there's a couple of steps, well, several steps that we're going to have to do to do this. And first we want to have, create a function that figures out how many days are in the month, right? There's different day, number of days in January than there are in February, than there are in March. So each month has a certain number of days. And that's going to be important to us because that's how we're going to number the calendar is based on the specific month that we're using at the time. So we're going to create this function days in the month. And so we can just come down here to the bottom and create a new function and keyword function. And then the name of it is days in the month. And now we're going to have to know which date they're talking about before we can say how many days are in that month because we it's dependent on the specific date itself. So we'll just send it, uh, we'll just have one parameter that is just the calendar date. So that's going to be the parameter that we'll send it and we and um, when we call this function. So first we want to define an array and this is just going to be an array of days in the month, right? So in each month, how many are in there? And so we just do var and we'll call this day count and it equals an array. So we'll use the square brackets and we'll go ahead and fill this up and we'll base it on the same way we did calendar names with January at index zero, February at index one. And remember that correlates to when we get the month from a date object, they start at zero and then one. So this will correlate nicely for us to get that. So in January, there's 31 days, February, there's 28, except leap year. We'll work on that. March has 31, April has 30, May has 31, June has 30, July has 31, August has 31, September has 30, October has 31, November has 30, and December has 31. So there's our array that has the number of days in each month. And then, and, and then we need to deal um, with the date. So we need to find out from the date which day it is. And um, so get the, get the month from the date. And so we can do that. And we'll just store this in a variable called this month. And we'll set it equal to the date, which is the parameter calendar date and dot month, sorry, get month is the method that we can call on that date object and it will return that month that will correlate in it. And then we can simply return the number of days for that, right? Because the number of days for that, we can just use this number that we got from this month as the index into this array. And so we just simply return and we use the day count. So this is the array day count and we use the index, which is the month number that came back from this, from this get month method. And that actually handles the number of days in each month for all the months except February. So we'll leave it for now and move on to figure out how are we going to deal with February.